What's going on, my friends? Sean Pierce Johnson here, and welcome to another episode of Stomp Box Saturday. On the Stomp and Block today, we have another awesome pedal from the guys at Native Audio, and it is the Rising Sun Tremolo. The Rising Sun is a really awesome two-mode tremolo pedal, allowing you to either set the tremolo speed with the rate knob and choose between two different speeds, or by allowing you to tap in the tempo of the tremolo that you want, and then being able to subdivide that tempo that you've just tapped in. Something that a whole lot of tremolo pedals are not including, and not to mention the fact that you can choose between five different waveforms of tremolo, make this a very cool addition to the myriad tremolo pedals that are on the market today. So let's go ahead, throw the pedal up on the screen, and take a look at the controls. Five knobs, two foot switches, and one toggle switch in the middle. We have volume to set an output volume, allowing you to make up for that volume loss that is inherent in tremolo, a tone control to fine tune the high end of the output of the pedal, depth of course being how deep you're going to be feeling and hearing that tremolo effect. You have rate and ramping on this knob, we'll explain that in a little bit. You have a slow, fast, but there's subdivision notes around it, we'll explain that again in a little bit a switch in the middle that allows you to choose whether or not you want to use tap tempo or ramping, and then your bypass foot switch and the control foot switch. Now the control foot switch is either going to be in tap mode, your tap tempo, or in the ramp mode, pressing and holding on that is going to allow you to go between the two different speeds that you've set using the slow fast knob. Now we have five different waveforms on here. We have sort of a hump waveform, which definitely feels like a classic effect. We have a sort of half triangle that goes up and then straight 90 degrees down, or was that be 45 degrees? I don't know. Then we have a full triangle wave. Then we have the other half of the triangle, so just immediately going up and then sloping down, and then we have a square wave. So we really have just about any kind of tremolo sound available to us on this pedal. Now, just like with the Ghost Ridge, there are some secondary functions to these knobs. When you press and hold on the bypass foot switch and you turn the rate ramping knob, that's essentially letting you select the different waveforms. So say you want that square wave sound, turn it full clockwise while holding down on the bypass foot switch, and you've got a square wave tremolo. Now, if you want to go in the slow fast knob, when you're in the ramp mode, that allows you to access the fast speed. So in ramp mode, here we go, we set a slow speed, but now we want to set the secondary fast speed. Press and hold and turn it to where you want it to be. And you can see between the two, since we're in ramp mode on the pedal right now, you can see that the speed of the LED increases and decreases. Now with the ramping, that's basically an amount of time of a transition between those two speeds, counterclockwise being almost instantaneous, and clockwise taking a little bit longer for us to get there. All right, we've talked about the functionality of how these things work enough. I think it's time that we hear the tremolo. Let's start by just dialing in a nice, even keel tremolo sound and listening to the different waveforms that are available to us. go to the sort of half triangle, the first half, where it will go slope and then down, slope and then down. It has kind of a glitchy nature to it, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and go to the full on triangle. Nice. Now the second half of the triangle where it's gonna go up and then slope down. That one 
has a little bit more of a percussive quality than the first half where it slopes up and then drops down. I kind of like it. It kind of helps you uh, feel the tempo a little bit better. Now, finally, we have the square wave, which is going to be probably the most extreme of the tremolos. Definitely, this will uh, cut through some thick dirt sounds. <laughs> Very, very cool. So, now let's choose one of our favorites. I think I like the triangle sound, although I like quite a few of them. Let's go ahead, for the sake of argument, say that the triangle wave is our favorite one. Now, let's explore this ramp mode. Now, I wanna go for something a little bit dark. I like my tremolos fairly deep because, quite frankly, if you're going to create a tremolo sound, why not hear it? This knob is going to set our slow speed, and it can get really, really slow. To the point where it almost is like somebody is working a volume pedal for us. Now we want to set a fast speed. Well, it's very easy. Press and hold on the bypass foot switch, and now you have access to the fast speed. Cool. Now we have the two different speeds. But notice how we have a little bit of a delay in the time between those two different speeds changing. So say we want to make it a little bit more instantaneous. Turn the ramping knob to its most counterclockwise position and you'll basically have something that's pretty much instantaneous. <laughs> and you press and hold on the control foot switch in order to select between the two sounds. Now, if we want to make it a little bit longer, you just turn the ramping knob up clockwise. <laughs> And there you have one tremolo sound with two different speeds that you can use basically the, the fast speed to accentuate a certain part. Maybe you have this one particular note of the solo that you really want to kind of punch people in the face. You just bend up to that, you hit on the control switch, and you've got that really fast warble going on. As a matter of fact, let me illustrate that point with a nice lead tone. <laughs> like the way that this pedal cuts through dirt. And that was the Aria's drive with quite a bit of drive on the low gain side and the rock verbs dirty channel. The best way to showcase more of what this pedal can do is to show you some of the cool tremolo sounds that I like to dial in when using the rising sun. So let's go to some of my favorite settings. <laughs>
have it, my friends. That is the Rising Sun Tremolo from Native Audio. When it comes to tremolo pedals, they are a dime a dozen. Everybody has released one. Most everybody has released one. And they all tend to offer about the same stuff. This is really the first tremolo pedal since getting the Walrus Audio Monument that I find myself gravitating towards and enjoying. Uh, I love the fact that it's got all these different waveforms to choose from. I love the tap tempo and ramping modes. I'll probably use the tap tempo more because that's really what I'm used to, but having that ramp mode available so that if there's a certain chord or a note that I want to accentuate in a piece of music, I could just hold down on the control foot switch and kind of take it off and launch it into the stratosphere. That's a pretty cool thing. All in all, it's a very simple pedal to operate. There isn't a whole lot that I can say against it. I think that the labeling of the subdivisions might be a little inaccurate because it just doesn't seem to reflect, you know, what I know for, as far as music theory. But if you're like me, you can easily discern what those subdivisions are with your ears and you'll very quickly find that it's really a negligible thing. But something that I did need to point out. All in all, you could use this thing in the effects loop in the front end and you could have yourself a great tremolo sound. And if you wanted to, there's plenty of output volume that you could use it as a boost. I don't know why you wouldn't just buy a boost pedal, but hey, it's your prerogative, it's your rig, not mine. And speaking of that, I'd love to know what you guys thought of the Rising Sun Tremolo. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and please do click the subscribe button when you see it so you don't miss the next episode of Stompbox Saturday coming up. Thanks again so much for spending your time with me this weekend, my friends. I always appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.